Oh, are we live? I think we're live. I'm going to check, but hey, everyone, welcome to the Love Camp Unicorn Barn. And we have Carol here. So I just want to make sure we really truly are live before I keep talking, but because um, it doesn't tell us exactly. Are we there? Yes, we're there. Okay, cool. So, um, so if you're here, we can't, well, actually I will be able to see your comments. I'm just gonna have it here. Um, but I'm so glad you're here joining us down at the barn. Say hello in the comments. Um, and we're here with very special guest, a Love Camp alum. She's been here really for the last three years, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, not and, the first year, but ever since then. Yeah, and then last year we did a unicorn ride together. So um, this is a really awesome opportunity because Carol literally is a unicorn wrangler. I mean, she lives on a farm in Tennessee, has her horses and does lots of healing work. So if you've ever wanted to do some healing work with crystals, um, what else do, or do you do? You do crystals and, and what's the thing equine assisted, equine assisted learning, assisted learning. So there's, there's so many cool things that you can do if you wanted to take a little trip to her farm. Um, and there are amazing meditations with horses and all that. So, so she's like true full blown medicine woman, horse lady. So, um, so if you're joining, let's see, we've got a couple people here. Um, um, let's, let's begin. Do you wanna tell us a little bit about what we're about to do? Yeah, so hey everybody, welcome to the Unicorn Barn, first of all. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, do a little work here in just a minute to pick out your unicorn, but we're gonna take our unicorns on a little trail ride around the farm and who knows what we'll see who knows what we'll encounter while we're out there so um uh, super excited uh just before we start I, and something i was just telling macy about i don't know if you know some of you are maybe a little nervous uh maybe you haven't ridden a unicorn before or maybe it's been a long time and you kind of been out of it for a while and don't really know what to expect and and feeling a little afraid and one of the things that I, I actually printed it off that, that Macy had said about why we actually come to Love Camp and what we're learning is that it's a place to develop inner safety and security that's needed so that love can find you. Same thing that, that about this, um, you're going to, you know, we want you to feel safe and secure, we want you to trust yourself and get past those fears and insecurities that make it hard for you to get on this unicorn and ride. So same, same sort of thing. And, and that's one of the things about unicorns, you know, just relates all to life in general. So I, I thought that was, that was just kind of popped out at me one day about, you know, that's what we're doing. So we don't want anybody to be afraid. So just get rid of the fears. Don't be nervous, relax, and we're going to have fun. So. All right, so the first thing we want to do is got to pick out a unicorn. So there are lots of unicorns out there. Uh, we have lots here in the barn, all shapes, all sizes, all types of personalities. So just take a minute, walk around the barn, get to know some of them, uh, chit chat with them a little bit. Um, you is know, there just find one to be looking for. Is there anything special we should look for when we're, we're looking at a unicorn to ride? No, I think just, you know, I think you're just going to kind of know if there's one you're just kind of drawn to. And that that's at least that's kind of the way it happens for me. I just, I, I my interest is peaked. My, my eyes are going to go toward one. And so try that. And, you know, here, here we go. And you'll probably hear us saying this a million times. Macy says, mm -hmm. <laughs> choose and then choose again and choose again. Yeah. You go, you think when you think this is going to work. And then you're sitting there petting it on a little bit, talking to it, trying to get it to know it. Maybe it's pen in its ears, or maybe it's too tall or too short or too this or too that, whatever. Choose again. You know, yeah. lots to choose from. 
I love so, it. Yeah, yeah, just kind of walk around and kind of get a feel, you know, you, again, you're going to know the ones that you, the one that you, you feel comfortable with, the one that you're drawn to and just pick you out a unicorn. This is going to be a fun ride. So we want everybody to have a good time. So have fun picking one out and uh, get your unicorn and uh, yep. Pet on them a little bit, give okay. them some love. Yeah. All right, so once you find the unicorn that, that you think you're going to be comfortable with, so then we got to get them out and uh, do some grooming with them. So we have several boxes of brushes and things to, to do. So you're going to start out and just kind of, you know, some of them have been outside and it's been a little muddy here. So they may have a little mud caked on them. So you mm -hmm. want to get a little curry comb, mm -hmm. a little rubber curry comb and kind of mm -hmm. just rub it in circles around their body, kind of knock off some of that dirt a little bit. Because we don't want, if we're going to put a saddle on, you don't want to put a saddle on on top of that dirt. Okay. It might rub them a little bit, make them a little uncomfortable. So we want this to be a pleasant ride for everybody, unicorns included. And then after you've brushed off some of that dirt, then we're going to get, we've got some, um, some stiff brushes. So grab you a stiff brush and brush. And as you're brushing, kind of you want to brush the way the hair on the unicorn is growing. So brush that. Uh, don't use the stiff brush on their face. It'd be like using something stiff on your face and it's not going to feel very good. So just on their bodies. And that's going to brush away some of that dirt that we just scrubbed up with that okay. um, rubber curry comb. So use your stiff brush and just get a little brush away a little bit. So we do this every time we go on a ride? Uh-huh. Okay. Yep. And then after you feel like you've done a good enough job with that stiff brush, if you want to finish off, I've got some softer brushes you can choose mm -hmm. and do the same thing just with the softer brush. This one you can actually use on their face and on their legs a little bit. Um, again, just kind of brushes off that dust and it makes them look pretty. You know, we all like pretty unicorns. Mm, mine is really pretty. So pretty. And then there's some, there are some, um, like they look like hairbrushes. So if you want to take a hairbrush and brush at it, your unicorn has a long mane or short mane, brush the mane a little bit, brush the tail a little bit, make sure there's not any sticks or you know, anything, pieces of hay or anything stuck in. Again, you know, it's really not going to hurt the unicorn any, but we want them to look pretty spiffy as we get ready to go out and go on this ride. So can we do their tail? Do we do their tail? Uh -huh. Yep, okay. do their tail too. Yeah, just brush through those tails. Awesome. Okay, and we'll skip the picking out the feet. So, cause I, you know, we'll, we'll just, we're gonna just assume that that's been done already. And okay. so we won't do that. Some people may not be comfortable with that. So you got your unicorn already. So um, next thing we wanna do is decide on, are you gonna ride bareback? Or are you gonna put a saddle on? Again, total up to you, your choice, you decide. Some people are comfortable bareback, some are not. Um, you know, totally wow. up to you. Different kinds of saddles, and we have an assortment of saddles. Remember, this is our this is our unicorn fantasy ride. So you can pick out whatever color, whatever okay. size, whatever style, English, Western. Got some Western saddles that got some bling on them with some silver and things if you like, if you're a blingy kind of person and you like that, or yeah, just whatever again. This is this is your fantasy unicorn ride. So pick out something that, that you think looks cool and you think is going to feel good. And you're going to lift that up and throw it on top of your unicorn. Get them all cinched up. You know, we, we're here to help. If you need any help with that, you know, we can get you fixed up. We're going to get them all saddled up. Awesome. <clears throat> Same thing with the bridle, which is the part that goes on their head that we're going to have the bit and the mouth to guide Hard. them with and the reins. Again, it can be simple one, pick out a simple one. It can be one that's got a lot of bling on it. It can be any color, your fantasy. Just picture it in your mind, what you want it to look like. And that's what it looks like. All right, so everybody got that already? Everybody's unicorns are all ready. And I guess we're ready. Um, Macy and I both have our hats on ready to go. Uh, if you want to grab you a hat yep. or a helmet, a lot of people prefer to ride helmets. These unicorns are pretty safe. I um, don't think anyone's going to get hurt, but I kind of like to have that hat on, you know, in case it does start raining or as you're ducking through trees, kind of helps yeah. to keep the branches off of you. And then helmets, obviously, if you were to happen to have a fall, 
that would protect you too. So again, totally up to you as to what you want to decide to wear. So, all right, is everybody all saddled up? I brought my coffee. I'm gonna, I added a mug holder to my. Perfect, yeah, you know, again. <laughs> bring your coffee bring your little snack we got saddle bags you can stuff them in the saddle bags and awesome. yeah we got little holders for for drinks and whatever you want to bring them with you that we we can we can fix you up we, we got you good here all right so i think we're gonna grab your unicorns and we're gonna just you know hand walk them out of the barn just outside in order to mount up um you know, if, you, if you're feeling real athletic and energetic and want to haul yourself up on top of that saddle, just by putting your foot okay. in that stirrup and pulling up, go ahead. If you want a mounting block, we got some mounting steps. You can climb on those, makes it a little easier to jump on. Uh, I always say it, um, I do it for them, not for me, because it helps their back. It's not as hard on their back if I'm up like that. So, all right. Oh, you mean if you get right. on the block first? Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's see if you're on. Yeah, easier on there. Me too. All right, so everybody in the saddle, all comfy, got your reins, all nice and comfortable. All right, I think we're good. Let's take off. We're just going to walk down the driveway away from the barn a little bit. And as you're doing this, just kind of be aware that some of these unicorns might still have friends at the barn oh. and they may not be real happy about leaving their friends. So oh. they, stop and decide they don't want to go anymore if so just kind of squeeze your legs give them a little kick put your hand forward tell them to move on you know just like us sometimes they want to go to work sometimes they don't so um just be mindful of that as you're walking down the driveway other thing to watch for in the driveway the driveway is gravel but there's grass on both sides of the driveway so up yeah. to you and your unicorn you know you might get a feel is your unicorn kind of acting a little ouchy maybe if they don't have shoes on maybe the gravel hurts their feet a little bit so if so you may want to pull them up on the grass and walk on the grass okay. um, if they're okay with the gravel you know again up, up to you to decide and your unicorn whatever you think you're more comfortable doing go for that so we're just going to kind of walk down the driveway a little bit uh, there's kind of a hill if you feel like uh, you might want to lean back just a little bit in your saddle as you're going down that hill just so we don't want anybody to tumble over the head of their unicorn there that could be a little dangerous so uh, okay kind of lean back as you're walking down that hill and we get down to the That's bottom the of the hill here. my reins you can hold them like that or you can hold them in one hand and kind of okay. put your finger between them and hold them like that. Like that. Um, and some of the reins mm -hmm. depend. Some of the reins are just like one big loop. And so if that's the case, then you can hold them with both hands like that. Okay. So there's several different ways you can hold those. Yeah. And so as you're going along, you'll, you'll, you'll get the feeling for what's comfortable for you and what your unicorn likes. Whoa. All right. So we're going to turn. Yeah. Just kind of enjoy walking along here. Um, we're going to turn right down here at the edge of this hay field. And if you look up, I think I see a hawk up there wow. flying around. So take a look at that. So wow, some people have that as their virtual camp counselor this week. That's so cool. cool. Okay. All right. So we're going to walk along here beside the hay field a little bit uh, before we duck into the woods. Everybody doing okay? Any, any problems? Everybody's okay? I want to eat the hay. Is that okay? No, now while you're riding, you know, this is, okay. this is your job. So don't let them eat. Don't let them okay. stop. You know, if we want okay. to stop and let them eat a little bit, they can munch. But right now while we're riding, this okay. is their job. And so we want to keep them moving, keep going. We don't want to hold anybody up. When we get down here at the edge of the hay field, we're going to pop into the woods. There's a trail here. Okay. So we're going to walk through here. So as you're walking in, just again, kind of be mindful. There are trees sticking out. You may get a limb kind of, you know, you may have to dodge a few limbs with your head. Um, we've had some rain here. So there may be some spots where some limbs have washed across the trail. So, you know, again, trust your unicorn. Your unicorn knows when to pick up its feet and when to fly over something if they need to. So, um, but just kind of kind of watch you know where you're going we don't want anybody to get poked by a tree here as we're going along and uh, 
just kind of look around. We've got a lot of deer in these woods. You may, oh, look, I think there's one. Oh, look, there's a mom wow. and baby deer. Oh, oh. I love yeah, they're not that. very afraid of us either. They're just kind of watching. So yeah, so just be looking around as you go through. You may see a few more deer as you're walking through here. We've got lots of them here. <clears throat> Along here and all right. So we get back through this little section. We'll pop back out here on the main trail and go for a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh. Like I said, we've had a lot of rain and a lot of wind. Oh. I see a ginormous tree down across the trail. Hmm. All right. So we got to figure out what to do. So, and this is one of those things. So what's your first reaction when you see that? Well, I guess we'll turn around and go back. There's one option. Do you just say, I'm just going to plow through this no matter what, throw caution to the wind and go? Do you stop and sit back and kind of look and see, hmm, I wonder if there's a way, can we go around to the right? Can we go around to the left? You know, actually kind of a good thing uh, to have that obstacle. Cause you know, we get lots of obstacles in life and uh, same sort of thing, you know? You can learn a lot about yourself while you're doing these rides. You can learn, you know, again, what was your first reaction? What what do you do? Yeah, I was thinking I had to stop, like I couldn't go on my ride because I wasn't, I didn't know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, again, doesn't necessarily mean just because that obstacle's there doesn't mean you can't go on. You can't move forward. You just yeah. may have to do it a different way. I love that. Yeah. You know, so we can walk around. It may not be as easy. Um, okay. you know, cause there's really not a trail here. We're kind of just walking through the woods, but let's go ahead and walk around this. Okay. Yeah. And just kind of think about it as you go by, you know, what, what did that tell you about yourself? What, what is that first art? Do you give up? Do you just plow through it? Do you think about it? Do you overthink it? Mm -hmm. mm, guilty yeah. here on that one sometimes, but, uh, but yeah, just something to think about. Uh, it's a great metaphor for, for us and how, how we approach life and the things that we do. I do okay. love that. I love that because it's, it's, it's the difference between being able to know that you can learn because right then, like, because I haven't been on many unicorn rides, it's easy for me because I don't know a lot about it to think okay I don't know what to do but mm -hmm. being able to come to you and actually say hey like what is possible here then Absolutely. you have the experience so that's really helpful to remember yeah. so any of you out there who are feeling like you don't know what to do what what else is possible to get the skills, the learning to get past anything that you're stuck Absolutely. with. Absolutely, yeah. Because at first glance, that looked like it. I mean, that is a huge, huge tree, much bigger than any of these unicorns could go across. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, so it does. It looks like, well, it's over, we're done. But it's not. There, there are ways to deal with that. So, yeah, just like, just like us, just like in life. So, okay, looks like everybody's gotten oh, yeah. around the tree now. Okay, wow. Yeah. That's so. Cool. Go back. Oh, I know. Let's take this is a cute little trail. We've just created okay. a new little trail. We call it the Christmas trail because uh -huh. all through the woods we have. And if you look, it has green and red streamers. And there's even a little Santa right at the beginning of the trail. Oh, hey. That way you know you're on the trail. If you just keep looking for the green and red streamers, you'll okay. know you're on the right trail. So let's walk across here. And. Oh, there's a little creek up here. So we're going to have to cross the creek. I think most of your unicorns will be fine. They may want to stop and get a drink and that's okay. Uh, if so, just kind of let your reins out. Let them have their head. Uh, don't fall over the top of their head. We don't want that to happen. But th they love that cool creek water. It's really mm -hmm. good. Um, you may get one that decides, nope, not going across the creek today. Kind of like us with the tree back there a while ago. And if so, just some gentle encouragement, um, pet them a little bit, you know, okay. take some deep breaths, relax a little bit, let the, when you relax, they're going to relax. Okay, that's a really should, interesting one. And they should go right on across. Um, 
you know, if somebody really has trouble, may have to get across, get off and lead them across. But I think most of these will go over. But uh, but sometimes that can be another little obstacle there. You know, those obstacles just pop up when you least expect it. Just like you know, obstacles in life, you just never know <laughs> what you're gonna. Well, get. I think that's a really powerful one, Carol, that you just said. So like, if we get all stressed out then it stops our, our unicorn from being able to support us, right? That's just, uh -huh. it's very, it is a metaphor for how the Absolutely. universe works. So like Absolutely. if we like contract and freak out, then we're not able to let the universe, universe support us. And uh -huh. well, I didn't realize that. So like we have to be aware of our energy because it impacts the unicorn. Oh, absolutely. Without a doubt. Everything that we're doing up here affects, affects them. Um, okay. they, they feel it just, just like we do. So yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I think, but I don't think anybody should have any trouble with that, but just, just kind of be careful when you go through there, maybe a little muddy too, as you're getting there and getting back up on the bank of the other side of the oh, creek. Yeah. So just be careful. Um, now some of these guys may decide instead of walking through, they may want to jump over the creek. Oh. So if you're up for a little excitement today, go for it. Let your unicorn jump across. Just Woo! hang on. <laughs> That's a yeehaw, isn't it? That is that a get to say yeehaw? That's a definite yeehaw. So yeah, <laughs> a little excitement to the ride there. All right, well, let's keep walking along the woods here. You know, that's another thing I think is really interesting about, and this is, you know, one of my little deals as we're walking through the woods, you know, I've done some work with, uh, I do some equestrian Tai Chi, and uh, we've done some work just recently with connecting with the wood element and how important that is. And when you're surrounded in the woods, I mean, we are definitely connected to the wood element as we're walking through here. And the wood element has to do with growth and expan expansion with um, moving forward. You know, like sometimes you'll see like a tree growing up some weird place that you think there's no way like in a little crack of concrete you know but somehow it got past that obstacle and was growing so it can move forward it can move up again another great metaphor for us you know with connecting with that wood element and being like the wood element and and moving forward um and dealing with obstacles and um you know keeping keeping going and keeping moving forward that's I don't know that I just I, I love, love that that's amazing yeah and uh, I yeah. feel it I feel when you say it I just feel that with you know being in all these trees mm -hmm. just so vast and magical so you know I know we've been we talked a little bit about receiving here and there and you know mm -hmm. we really feel like this is an opportunity to receive from nature and receive from oh absolutely from the wood that's super cool yeah and and you know and i think that's again an, another thing that's so great about doing these trail rides is it's such a great time just to connect with nature in general and just to be able to relax and and while you're out here take some nice deep breaths and really breathe in some of this fresh <laughs> air you know because it is it's a little cool and crisp today but it's so clean and just, you know, it should feel so good just going through. Um, I, I just, I love that. And we're coming up on probably one of my favorite parts of the trail here. Um, it's almost like walking through a national forest, I think, as much as that can be on, you know, just on this piece of property. But there's all these, just look around, there's even though the leaves are off now, all these hardwood trees, these giant trees, you can just look up and they're just all around and, I just love this part with all these big trees. It's just, Amazing. I don't know, there's just something really comforting about walking oh. through here to me. So great. I love that part. It's amazing, love girl. That. This is such a cool oh. trail. I just feel so empowered. Yeah. Like having yeah. this relationship with my unicorn and and just being able to relax and, and enjoy yeah. and look, oh, here's, oh, look at the squirrel. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> uh oh, I see some turkeys up front there too. Oh. Okay, we, there's a flock of turkeys. Now, some of your unicorns may be a little scared of the turkeys, especially if okay. they decide to flop, flop, flop and start flying around. So 
just kind of be aware that they may get a little skittish here when these turkeys go by. So mine just went na 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 to the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> that works too. That works too. All right, everybody got by turkeys, no issues. Oh, good deal. All right, we're coming up on a little clearing here. Just wondered how um, hmm. how ambitious, how how everybody's feeling. Anybody want to go a little faster? We've just been kind of going along at a nice slow pace, just kind of, a, you know, I, most of my trail running, it's kind of like, uh, you know, enjoy the scenery, stop and smell the roses kind of thing. But anybody want to go a little faster? I want do. to pick up a trot or a lope or what we would call in Western elope or canter if you're an English writer. So, um, you know, again, just kind of relax a okay. little bit. Um, just kind of get in sync with your unicorn, give them the little signal, whatever your signal, if it's a trot, it's kind of a, a squeeze or some of these, you can just tell them to trot or tell them to lope or counter, canter and just enjoy the ride and just enjoy that freedom and the excitement of oh, doing it. I flew off my hat. <laughs> oh, and well, and I forgot to tell you guys, that's why I have a stampede string on mine so I can pull it up and oh. my hat won't off so yep hang on to your hats if you got a hat on and let's just as well as a nice clear spot here and there's no doesn't look like there's any limbs down or holes Woo! or anything to fall in and just kind of enjoy that just again get in that rhythm with that unicorn and just sit back and enjoy that ride oh good it, did. it just got caught on its tail <laughs> oh good <laughs> wow this is so fun all right, let's bring them back down to a walk. And we're about here at the end of the trail. Um, if that feels like that's been a, a good ride for everybody oh, and feel like you got- Love it. I love it. I love the, that we had the choice to go faster or not. I mean, what that reminds me of is in relationship, like in dating and in getting to know someone, like it's gonna have its own pace. Oh, and absolutely. you can't compare it to anything else or, or try to put rules on it. It's really, you know, I mean, you know, from your own relationship that it has all of its own unique qualities and Definitely. it's just like your relationship with your unicorn. It's just like, okay, is this, am I ready to go faster and really honoring that? And I think mm -hmm. that that's really good. I mean, I, I, I don't know, last year, I think I just went to a trot this year. I felt more comfortable yeah. in galloping, so. And you know when it feels right, you know? I and do. I love that. That was pretty fun though. That feels but, really amazing. There's, there's just, I don't, there's just a freedom with that. Oh. It me is, um, you know, and especially when you're kind of in sync with that ride and you just, Kind of go with the flow, sort of thing. Oh, it feels really good. Yeah. Oh, well, the dog. I know the dog's beauty queen got a little like oh, unicorn. Yeah, a little, little excited there with all that loop, and the dog yeah. got a little got a little excited on the trail there. So calm her down a little bit. So then, how do we? How do we? Right, do so we're just yeah. So we're so we head back up here to the unicorn okay. barn. Just make sure you're walking. We don't ever want to okay. let them get the idea that they can run to the barn because okay. that way out on a trail they may just take off and run back to the barn so we bring them back down to a walk and just kind of leisurely walk back up the hill to the barn and when you get back up there um again if you need a mounting block to get off or if you just want to do it you know i can show you how to do an emergency dismount where you kind of kick out of your stirrups and and kind of jump back jump down um however you're comfortable getting off okay. and once we get off we got a unsaddle them, take the bridles okay. off, kind of reverse everything we did to begin with. You know, we started with the grooming. You kind of want to end with that a little bit too. Okay. Um, it's not, you know, they're not all hot and sweaty because it, it's cool. It's a little chilly here today, but still it feels good, you know, to kind yeah. of brush that hair back down, um, yeah. you know, get them kind of, kind of gives them, get the blood circulating a little bit. Um, so after you've got your saddle, put back and your bridle put back, just take a few minutes. And uh, again, it also just gives you more time to connect some more with your unicorn and, uh, you know, thank them for the ride and tell them how much yeah. you enjoyed it. And 
Can we yeah, get just kind of enjoy um, little marshmallows? Oh, absolutely. Them. Yep. And we have all kinds of treats in here. You can give them some treats. If you want to give them a little awesome. treat, do that oh, too. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. I love my unicorn so much. <laughs> oh, that was so fun. Thank you so much for being here. I cannot wait. There are a bunch of comments. If you loved going on a unicorn ride, please share your gratitudes for Carol joining us today and what you loved most about it, what you're taking away from this so that you know she can receive your appreciation she's you know volunteered to be here at camp so we're really lucky to have her and i'm so grateful for all of you joining us here and we will see you later today